know why. Why a good job number is making the market to drop? What's the reason for that? Isn't it a good job market, good for economy, good for companies and growing and the stock market should go higher? The answer to that is going into Federal Reserve approach. So they want to lower the inflation. Hey guys, uh, good morning everybody. Sorry about uh, me being late. So this morning, um, this is what happened. So the market, uh, the job market came strong and apparently surprised everyone by uh, the number of the jobs that, uh, you know, look at this at 8.30 when the number came in. Uh, and, you know, the market gap down significantly. Well, before that, it was gapping up. So it was gapping, you know, dropped really significantly. You know, look at the QQQ as well. You know, there's a huge drop, you know, Q's drop more than 1.5%. But why? Why a good job number is making the market to drop? What's the reason for that? Isn't it a good job market, good for economy, good for companies and growing and the stock market should go higher? The answer to that is going into Federal Reserve approach. So they want to lower the inflation, and that's the only thing that they want to focus right now. And they're aggressively high, uh, in, in increasing the rates, like something that we've never seen like 40, 50 years. Uh, and they do it until they, they start pushing the economy into the verge of recession and potentially collapse. But the strong job market means that they're not gonna, they, they, can, they have the reason to be aggressive, to increase the rate, uh, because the economy is still good. But the moment that they, Unemployment goes up, the you know, unemployment insurance gets under pressure and everything. They say, oh, damn, we did it too much. And they start really becoming less aggressive. The Wall Street wants both of them. They want free money, low interest rate, and also they want a strong market. So a good news can be bad news. So it's really market doesn't know how to you know, you know, digest these two. Yes, good market is good for the stock market, but also high inflation, very aggressive central bank is also not good for the market. Uh, because, uh, you know, the cost of capital goes up and the future discounted cash flow and everything is that. So it's a very weird situation right now in the market. And that's why, you know, you see the market is gapping down and it's then significantly, you know, recover that. So this morning I actually was out late for my run. By the time that I missed half an hour, Thor was trading with uh, uh, Brian and uh, he actually did a really nice trade at the open. He went long as spy, so you could do SSO or SPXL, the leverage products as well. Nice, really huge run, added more, and you essentially spy went and touched the previous day close, actually went all the way to green. Same as she was an IWM, and they all went green. So you could either go long on them or just with the leverage products like TQQ, SQ, SPXL, or TNA. So that was a really nice trade that I uh, that uh, Thor did. I don't know if he's in the chat room to do that. Uh, uh, Thor, if you wanted to come and have a chat with it quickly, feel free to come. Yeah, yeah um, I'm here. So one of the things, um, and, and good to see you, boss. One of the things um, Brian and I were talking about at the open was that with all the algos kicking in, in the pre-market and, and just the overreaction to the news that we were both kind of expecting the market to kind of to squeeze, you know, because you're going to have a lot of shorts are going to start taking profit. This will probably bring in some responsive bulls as it makes new highs, and we'll get a nice big squeeze. They actually squeezed further than I thought. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to go all the way to PDC because it was so far out already. So that all out that I had is on my S4 because when I play the outside back in, I, I, my target is S4. Um, so that's where I went all out and had a really just beautiful trade, only trade I've taken today. But it's it's a lot to you know the market often ebbs and flows and this is just kind of the that concept that we had gotten so far extended to the downside that we expected our shorts to start profit taking and when they did that caused the market to squeeze. It's yeah, amazing. Uh, so that was your trade. Thank you so much, Thor, for being available and jumping on that. So that's our three-way uh, recap. Um, um, I came and I saw that AMD is running up, so I jumped into AMD long, which was essentially the same move that the market was having. So I saw that AMD is running up. I went long here uh, at 102. I did a pullback on the moving averages. I added more, 
and then we did a really nice run of all the way up to 104 previous day close. So I sold some, I added a couple of times for the next move up, and we did drop right just right at the previous day close, just before the previous day close. And I was really hoping to get that previous day close because there was some level two signals as well. Some of the traders actually shared that uh, a screenshot with me, but now it's passing my uh, uh, previous day close. Actually, let me, yeah, I'm actually getting out of it though, because that's just, okay, I'm all out of it uh, because now it's really dropping my previous day close, uh, my entry. Uh, and that was it for me. That was the only trade that I did and it was really uh, profitable. Brian, how was your trade? No, I was. Uh, it was a good day. I was uh, mentioned at the open. I was looking at uh, at Twilio um, as a possible uh, rising devil trade, and um, it uh, it pretty much worked out. There was uh, set up the way you usually uh, trade the rising devils. It was uh, gapping down. Uh, it was gapping down on a uh, on their uh, uh, earnings report, which was. Uh, uh, overall, the earnings were actually not bad. They they reported a narrower loss than the people the street had been expecting, but their outlook was uh, poor, which uh, usually has more of an impact on on uh, how a stock responds after an earnings report. So, uh, gapping down, uh, trading below the view app, uh, going weak going into the open. So it it basically checked all the boxes for a uh, rising devil trade. Uh, we didn't get much of a pop at the open because the market was already down a fair amount. And uh, <clears throat> so we just took a short right at the open um, in, in at 84, 20, uh, 25. And then just uh, just basically started covering at, uh, at whole numbers, 83, 82. And, uh, you know, just got the last bit out just, uh, just uh, below 81 there. So, yeah, it was... Um, Really, really a good uh, good trade, and then I traded block square. The other trade I did it was it was strong right from the get go, and uh, yeah, I just uh, I jumped in there around uh, eighty seven fifty, and got the run through uh, through eighty eight, and then through eighty nine. So yeah, two two, uh, and then I traded TQQ while you were long AMD. So yeah, I had a really uh, really pretty good day. I'm glad uh, glad I could make it back for Friday's trade. Uh, well, welcome back. I know you were supposed to do uh, uh, camping. So, Brian, how did you put the square in your uh, watch list? Was it any specific news on a square or block? Um, what was it? Um, th <clears throat> there was something about, well, square had er earnings. I think they were, I think they might have been, uh, let me just see how I ended up with square. Yeah, earnings, um, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was gapping down. But it was a really nice run, a great job on picking up. And yeah. Brian is finding these uh, really stocks that are really amazing. That's a really nice run from $81 to $93. And it's just coming down. It's just amazing volatility. Um, yeah. So that's it, I think, for, for the recap. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, the PNL was uh, really good. I didn't really profit as much as I was expecting, actually. But, uh, you know, where is my close position? Come on. I think I might have picked up Square off a uh, scanner. Or, yeah, I'm not really sure how I ended up looking at Square, but Square had a, had a really good good day here. Yeah. So uh, one announcement that I want to have is, guys, that uh, Peak Capital Bootcamp is going to start. Uh, so the, the trading world-wise was really good, AMD. Uh, I think AMD is going to go green. It's just that, uh, you know, I had to get a stop down. I, at the break even so i think it's uh i think eventually it was going to go up it's holding the viva market is going to bounce iwm is up 3.3 percent which is the usually the weakest uh, uh uh index is iwm it's kind of there is a relative uh, strength in the market um i moved most of my position to a spy um right now it's not the leverage environment to be honest with you i think we are we're due for a pullback so i most move, move most of my position to a spy and a little bit of leverage products but not a lot. So uh, let's see how the market reacts next week uh, to the news and the continue of the earnings. So earning calendar is still full. Next week, we have a bunch of uh, uh, earnings. So, you know, I said that some of the people that actually have some uh, IB subscription, if you sign up through Bearable Traders, you get a better deal in the subscription packages and you can actually always add on to futures or anything that you want. Uh, 
uh, potentially you can do that I saw that uh, one of the traders uh, subscribed that uh, other than that it's Friday I'll be back next week uh, sorry about uh, being uh, away but again the, what is money good for if you can't really enjoy that uh, you know this traveling and running and climbing is really what is good I mean otherwise it's just you become the money becomes a curse for you you just have to always make sure that you're beating the market and increasing it and you know adding to that it's just uh, and I was during that one period of my life really uh, prisoner of capital but you know what is the money good for if you can't really enjoy that because life is too short uh, anyways uh, that's it thanks Brian welcome back and uh, that's yep. it uh, uh, have a good day guys uh, see you next week